Hello, bookworms. Welcome to the Weekend Readers Book Club. Thank you for joining us. In this episode, we are discussing the 2013 release novel by Jack Lehrer called Top Down. This novel is a fictitious antidote where the question is asked on whether if JFK had the top down on his vehicle, would he have been assassinated? This novel follows the main character, Jack Gilmore, a reporter and a newspaper writer, having lived through the moments where JFK was assassinated. You see, Jack was a reporter who actually spoke to and questioned the Secret Service agent who made the decision to remove the top in JFK's vehicle that November day. At a reunion five years on from the event, Jack wonders what actually ever happened to that Secret Service agent. Through the contact, which is the Secret Agent's daughter, they find that the Secret Service agent has become somewhat a shell of his previous stance, and it follows the journey on what has happened from the day JFK got assassinated to up to where Jack reunites with the Secret Service agent, and they all ponder the question, what if the top hadn't been removed from JFK's vehicle. Now, reading the blurb in this book, this was all fictitious. Um, Jack Lehrer said that everything was made up, including the reporter and the Secret Service agent. However, reading the novel itself, it was really, really entertaining because it went into a lot of details on how somebody who made that decision could have potentially dealt with the guilt, but also how an organization, be it the FBI, Secret Service, could have somewhat dealt with the blowback of what actually happened that November day. What I liked about this book is it was really, really entertaining. It wasn't fast-paced, but the pace was okay. And it was intriguing because, in a sense... This novel only has four characters. Jack, the Secret Service agent. The Secret Service agent, Marty, who is a secondary character. And the Secret Service agent's wife. The pacing of this book was great. And in addition to this, it was very easy to follow and read. What I didn't like about the book was absolutely nothing. I thoroughly enjoyed this. And I should say that the ending of this book was great because it brought everything full circle and it closed off a story that you spent a hundred and so pages reading through and getting invested in. It was really, really good. There was nothing I disliked about this book. In addition, this book did a great way to capture somebody's guilt that they may have had i.e. the Secret Service agent, how he felt for making that decision and the weight of that decision weighing on his life. Now, the question is, would this book be going on my bookshelf? And the answer is yes, absolutely. I thoroughly enjoyed this book and welcome to the bookshelf, Top Down. Now, if you would like to read Top Down yourself and give it a whirl to see whether or not it is something you would enjoy or wouldn't, feel free to use our links in our bio to be able to pick up this book. It is available on Amazon, be it paperback, digital by Kindle, or audiobook. Now, as routine here for the Weekend Readers Book Club, as one book closes, another has to open. And it is now time to find out what the Weekend Readers, the next read is. The Weekend Readers, the next read is brought to you by FontyTees.com. It's just fonts on tees and more. Visit today at FontyTees.com. Bookworms, we can confirm that the next read for the Weekend Readers book club is... World 
War Z, An Oral History of the Zombie War by Max Brooks. I am looking forward to reading this book because I do know that it was made and then picked up to be made into a movie. I can't really remember the movie, so I'm intrigued to go into this cold and see if all the hype about this book is well worth it. So look out for that coming in the next episode. So that brings closure to our episode this week where we discussed Top Down by Jim Laria. If you would like to follow us on Instagram, you can. We are at Weekend Readers Book Club. Also YouTube and Spotify, The Weekend Readers. Until next time, thanks again for joining us and bookworms, happy reading.